So this is a fairly ancient Dremel multi-pro cordless um, rotor tool I've had for decades. <laughs> and it has old NICAD uh, battery pack in it that has run down. I just tested it. It's only putting out um, about four and a half volts and it's supposed to be putting out 7.2 volts. And this is a model 770 type one and they don't make it anymore. And they don't make the battery pack for it anymore, which is the 757 uh, 7.2 volt uh, battery pack. See if I can get that there for you. And there's a great uh, Instructables which I will link to, um, that describes how to open this thing and change the batteries. Inside are a bunch of uh, NICAD uh, AA cells, which I believe from the pictures that I saw are um, strapped together with metal um, strapping. Now the fellow who wrote the Instructable um, went to his local Batteries Plus and, and bought the batteries to uh, replace it and they also um, lash the pack up uh, correctly with the with the um, with new strapping i'm going to try to well we'll see when we get into it but i'm just going to try to um, uh, fix it here with some uh, replacement batteries so we'll see how it goes but let's get into it and um, and see what we got um, first of course take the battery out and we don't need that anymore and um, so the instructable says that there are clips coming up from the black plastic stand up again here coming up from the black plastic here and here and here and here and so the idea is to go in the crack here between the on the red cap and push the clip in to pop this off while at the same time you're holding the uh, battery release in and pushing up because this is connected to this. This is all one piece of plastic. So this is kind of a U-shaped red piece and then the black things come up. Um, it's a very tight join. Um, so usually I go with a razor blade on this to at least start it, uh, but I have to be careful because it's sharp and we certainly don't want to break any of these things. So I thought making a video of this would be good because um, it's one thing to have the nice instructables with the, with the cap already popped, but actually doing it. Uh, could be a little more difficult. So I'm going to put on my uh, magnifier here and turn the light on. And we'll see if we can uh, get into this thing. If I look around the edge, this looks pretty tight, but this side looks like it has a little more room. So I'll just kind of get in there. And you kind of can see a, uh, some shallow parts in the plastic here and here, which is kind of where... You'd expect those clips to be, and there we go, we're in. I'll give that some up. <laughs> I, 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 just, I just pushed it all back together. It seems to be a break in the red. There's a, 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 a molded lip that goes around inside the black, but there's a break in it here where I think these, um, where I'm putting my screwdriver in to get the, of course now I'm making, a, <laughs> and I'm making a, a an opening by kind of screwing up the black plastic a little bit here. No user serviceable parts inside. Oh, well. Oop. Okay, so I jammed down pretty good, and then all of a sudden, and I did, and I broke one of them off. God dang it. So now, but now, you can see what we got here. So I broke, I broke that one off. And, but in theory, I can just push this down and it'll release this side. I hope. Oh, well, kind of broke that one off too. Well, shoot. I mean, obviously we can lay some tape on it or something, but it is kind of crappy. Can we do better on this side? So let's see, where are those things exactly? Okay, so they are right on top of these these very subtle molded, molded dent um, 
on here. And so the equivalent would be exactly here where I was. And exactly there. So that seemed to work pretty well. I was levering away from the from the body. Back up. All right, now let's go back to this other side. And since we had good luck levering away, we'll try that again here. We'll go in and lever away. Okay, so this is the trick. In and lever up. So that would probably have been the right way to do it. But again, that wasn't in the instructable, it was just open. Okay, so I did break off two tabs. There they are. There's my shame. And somehow we'll get that back together. And uh, you can see there's a, a rubber O-ring here in the lid to hold the battery firm and just leave that alone. And uh, then we have some lovely old Mexican NICAD uh, batteries. Let's see what I got. So, so I did better on this side. These two, these two clips are here. See, these two clips are there. Uh, so that's great. And uh, this side, not so much. <laughs> so I, yeah, I really think that the trick is to go in and lever away um, instead of um, toward the black, lift, lift towards the top. And, uh, and I don't know if you can see, can you really see the, in the, there's this like, very subtle groove where the where they are they're kind of farther out than you might expect all right so can we get the, these out of here now looks like there's some tape holding the whatever we got we've got four in the bottom one two three one two three so yeah there's two two groups of three and that by the way is how you get according to this instructable how you get your high and low speed so the the dremel um takes from two of these contacts for low speed and then all four of them for for high speed so let's see if we can get the the pack out of here and see what it looks like okay so that okay so there's one group of three and there's another group of three and then this this piece so you want to go on to um Amazon or eBay and get yourself some uh, AA NICAD cells. Don't get uh, uh, modern um, nickel metal hydride batteries because um, even though they're, they're much better battery and lot, much less uh, toxic to the environment, they, um, uh, they, uh, they may not work with the original uh, charger, which uh, won't be able to, which is calibrated for, for NICAD batteries. Do dispose of these properly. They're full of cadmium. Um, and then you'll be getting batteries like this, and we'll need to lash them into a, a pack. But, but uh, you can kind of see here how it's two groups of three, and then there's this um, strapping. So I will probably peel this strapping off, and I'm going to reuse it. Um, it won't be pretty, and I will solder onto this. These are, uh, uh, well, it's, it's a very low button top, so got to consider that too. Is that going to be, that's probably going to work okay. All right, so let's get some batteries and we'll, we'll lash up a new pack. Okay, so it's a few days later and the uh, batteries have come from Amazon. And this is what you get. Looks like those there in uh, this little box. Da, 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 da. And I... These only come in packs of um, four, and of course you need six, not eight, but I have two left over from a previous uh, project, so I just bought this. I'll use three of these, and then this one, and the other two. So I'm going to try to build one of these battery packs on camera here, and then I'll build the other one uh, offline, because it'll be the exact same um, process. Get, the, get these out here. 
So I said at the start of this video that I had measured uh, these battery packs and these were at 4 volts instead of whatever 7.2 they're supposed to be. And uh, now I realize, of course, that since I have two groups of three, I was actually uh, measuring it correctly. In fact, four is a fairly high voltage because I was leaving them on the charger, of course, to see if they would, would uh, do anything. So um, uh, that's a good voltage, but I'm assuming that they don't produce any current when they go under load, and that's why the thing's not working, and it's not because something else is busted inside the Dremel, which could be the case, and we will find that out um, in a little while. So there's... There's three batteries, and we're just going to uh, do, do the same thing with these new ones. And these are NICADs, um, just like the originals, uh, which is the way to go. So what I'm going to try to do here is um, uh, tear these apart, and um, I'll, I'll pry the, um, the metal strapping off, and we'll try to keep these nice plastic donuts, insulating donuts on here because they're, they're nice. These things have kind of a spot weld and I, I, I when I try to heat them, uh, they, they, they don't come off. So I don't think it's soldering and I don't quite know how it, how that attachment works. Maybe someone can enlighten me in the comments anyway. So I'll just take uh, my little uh, pliers that I like and roll these off like a um, sardine can and then straighten them back out. And, um, and hopefully we'll be able to, to save them and use them to, uh, Put this together and then i can use uh, one as a template to put a new one together and then when i have the new one i i should always have one that's put together that i can use as a template for the others that's the idea anyway so let's see how this goes let me put my magnifier on uh actually i don't quite need it for this yet so we'll just start by slicing the tape here and then i expect this to fly open like this and indeed it does and that's lovely and you can see we got this kind of cute uh, insulating ring. And I kind of want to take note of how far that tab goes onto the battery. And I guess it's a little over the uh, center line there. Because that's kind of the, the measurement, right? Because we want this in the, in the middle. And again, I can use this as a model, but, but it'd be kind of nice to have a, an idea how that works. Now, see, this one goes over all the way to the... This one is going all the way to the to the end of the button top, and this one is, well, that one's on the oh I see, so that one's on the button, and this one's on the back. Okay, well let's 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 take this thing apart. Oh, oh, oh don't don't twist that off, Jesus guy. Do that, I think. You can see what I'm doing there. Er. Okay. And then we will straighten that back out. There's the cute little plastic ring. Okay. We have these, uh, here's our, our template, and here are our pieces and we got uh, down up uh, let's see negative positive like that so that's the way they're going to go together and uh, the one with we'll call it the one with the fusible link assuming that's what it's uh, supposed to be is going to go on this side and then this one is going to go uh, on this side uh, and that is, yeah, that's the button end. So we're okay there. And it is the positive side. Oh, so so they put this uh, little ring around here. This actually um, spaces up the um, uh, metal strapping. So that's, that's kind of cool. If I can keep it together here. Okay. So that's kind of how we're going to uh, solder things here. Let's turn this on. So I'm going to use a fairly wide 800 degree tip because I want a lot of heat and I want to get it in fast and I want to get off the battery fast. And I think to kind of uh, hold this together while I'm soldering it, I'll put a, I'll put a cable tie around it if we can keep things together. Actually, I just put a piece of tape on it. Huh? That, I don't know, this 
stand up to heat a little bit. Let's just kind of do this. Yeah, so that'll be soldering something like that. Get these out of the way for the moment. And um, hope I didn't put that on too tight because now I want to get to it a little bit. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a little RA flux on here because, um, again, we want to we want the solder to take um, uh, as quickly as as possible. Look at that there. A couple of drops of that, and we'll put this. It's kind of going right. So I have some fairly uh, wide uh, .032 old Radio Shack uh, 6040 solder. And um, we will heat it up from the top and try to feed it in on the side. And hopefully there's enough flux and whatnot in there that will kind of flow into place. So let's see how this, see how this goes here. And this thing, the old weller is up to temp. And it's fairly well tinned, but let me put a little more on there. We get a good heat transfer. Okay, here we go. Okay. I'll let that cool down a second. Okay, let's see to that, and that soldered, that soldered pretty good. All right, now can we slide that off? Very good. Uh, now I'm going to pry this out just a little bit, and we'll save that for the next one. Let's get the, uh, the other end on here, and now here's a... A little more tricky because we want to line this one up. And lost my alignment and off so the best I can come up with after thinking about this is to just kind of do it flat on the table and I'm just going to use some try to use I think some scotch tape to sort of uh, hold this steady while I work on it. Let's see if we can get that at a good... That good? Don't roll around. And let's see if we go positive to negative. And I know from setting it on top of this one that it kind of needs to go about halfway across the uh, negative uh, side of this thing. Here we go. I'm gonna press in. Heat, heat, heat. So it looks a little cattywampus right now, but I think it'll be... All right, let's put a little flex in there. Flux makes everything nice. And here we go. Get this thing tinned up again. Okay, yeehaw. Oh, shoot, I'm moving it around too much. Why is it moving?
this. Let me put more flux on there and kind of screw that up. Boy, I don't know. That one didn't go well. And I was, I could tell I was putting too much heat into the battery, so I kind of had to back off. Let's, uh, let it solder though. Uh, well, let's see if this thing comes together in any kind of reasonable. Fashion. Okay. So we got this guy. We got this guy. They look somewhat similar. Not perfect, but I think, you know, I think it can be forced. <laughs> All right. So there we go. Um. G we like we like that so much we will now tape it into this position okay so there we go let's get the multimeter and see if it actually has the right voltage okay so we're uh, we got three 1.2 batteries here, so that's a uh, three, four, three point six. We think three point eight. Loving it. Okay, good deal. All right, so I will uh, make the other one, and uh, then we'll put them in and see see what happens. Okay, so built a second battery pack, came out better than the first one because practice makes perfect and also I wasn't kind of trying to do it for the camera and, and could kind of really look at things a lot closer. I got uh, another one of these clamps and I have little ones I can't find, but but uh, working with two of these instead of scotch tape was also uh, a nice way to um, uh, put these things together. Um, I took the, I've dry fitted this and tried it actually, oh, um, so um, uh, I took the, the, the tape off of this part because I don't think it does any good. There's, there's, um, guide slots, uh, in this thing for the batteries and, uh, you, you just don't need them. And I think it gets in the way of letting the batteries flex around the, you know, however they, um, they want to. So on the bottom of this, um, the plus and minus is marked. So, uh, this needs to go in like that with the plus on the plus. I don't know if we can see that or not. Let me tilt it that way. Okay, so we kind of lower these in. And the new, the, using one for a template for the other worked out pretty well. You can kind of feel it and look and go, well, you know, it needs to cover like half the button or two thirds of the button and uh, so forth. And then same thing here, like this. Do that to bring it snug. If we can get that to go all the way down. Come on, baby. There we go. So there we go, our two um, positives are there, two negatives are there. And and uh, I've already done this off camera. So I did uh, take the liberty of uh, shooting some contact cleaner into here and also kind of uh, uh, brushing up these contacts because they were a little uh, corroded. This thing is keyed, so it only goes in uh, one way. Obviously when this 
when this is on here, this, this goes like this, and then this little slot matches up to this little um, arrow. Uh, you can't put it in the, the other way because um, there's, a, there's a key all the way um, down in there. So this can go in like this. And then hopefully, if I've got those down enough, get some. There's the one. Let's see, I've had trouble with the high speed. Now, see, I'm having trouble with it again. But I got it. All right, let me... High speed's not liking me. It just takes a certain pressure. Let me let me goof with it some more, um, and maybe put the cap on because I I don't think it's a problem with the um, I'm not sure it's a problem with the battery pack because I think these these work pretty well. Um, the question is with my shame here of breaking these off, is this going to actually um, hold tight enough to uh, work? And I guess we'll just have to try it and and see. So these should slide back in here like this uh, let's see i have that right if that's going to be the top yeah switch key top all go together like that and then the label will be up well let's just try it is that good yeah it's good except it's good except on the part i messed up <laughs> oh boy okay you gonna even stay in there now That's interesting. Am I not closed enough? It has that rubber gasket in the top. Boy, we're not getting the other one either. All right, well, I won't bore you. It may be, it may be a little bit of a journey to reliability with this. Let me... Uh, yeah, that's fine. Well, I always got low. <laughs> and I and I did get high here before I turned the camera on, uh, of course. So that seems like it's down there really good. Both um, both packs are fine. Of course, I'll test them again with the multimeter, but I, I know I've got the the voltage there, and you can see that they're they're pretty far down. That one's not quite as far down as this one. This one's poking out a little more. That might be the that might be the problem. With, yeah, just not one is good, and then of course the whole thing is not going down all the way enough to latch, and I don't. Oh yeah, it latched. That side latched. <clears throat> huh. Come in. There we go. So that's the high speed. <laughs> so I, I kind of got it there. Do that again. That was good. <laughs> I want high speed. Of course, I don't know. Uh, these batteries don't have much of a charge in them either, so I should probably charge them up as well. But uh, come on, you—you you were doing it, man. Huh? Yeah. So that's high speed. So it's just a matter of pressure. And a... okay, so I gotta figure out how to make a better contact here, and it's kind of. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, that may be it. Unless I can make it better here. And uh, it doesn't look like I'm going to need any tape to hold this thing shut. It's working well. Uh, it just may be that this, this particular button is not down far enough. Getting some contact cleaner on there. So let's see what we can do. Okay, it's about 15 minutes later. And what I discovered was that the um, this button on this battery hadn't come down uh, far enough. In fact, this one's still farther out. So I gave it a... I've been, Gave it kind of a good banging. I opened it up and I pushed down on it with the screwdriver to get it seated better. So they really do need to be um, seated. Seems to be holding closed okay with just um, uh, the one set of clips on the one side. And uh, let me put this in here now. Looks like it's, it's holding okay. So let's see, we got our got our high speed. And, and this is like the, there's a switch problem here. It's not the battery pack. Yeah, see, it doesn't, I'm not pressing or anything, it's just, so I don't know. Don't know. But anyway, thing seems to be working, yay. And uh, chewed, the, chewed the case up on uh, this side, but other than that, uh, uh, pretty good. I might put some electrical tape on here anyway, just because it'll be prettier and, and keep the 
keep the pressure on. So, uh, thanks for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe uh, so I can be a big famous YouTube star. Thank you. Bye.